since I was like five, six, my dad used to teach me that I should have a lot of women. When I got married, I came with all these um, addictions. But the worst problem I had was uh, uh, going out with other women outside of my marriage. We used to rent and we were evicted from that house as we were evicted from other houses later on. After that, our marriage was about to end and I, could, I didn't want to live anymore. I, was a, I wanted to give up life. In the new years of 2005 to 2006, I received an invitation from uh, an assistant of the church. When I got back home, I could sleep. I didn't have those uh, dreams anymore. I didn't have the desire to kill myself. I started believing something was gonna happen. I promised God, I said, God, I'll never get out of here. I'm gonna listen to the pastor and I'm gonna do everything he tells me to do. Everything he tells me to do. And then I learned about the tithes and was was hard for me to take 10% out of my income. But as I start doing it, even against my will, I start seeing the results. And from there, it gave me courage to give more of my other parts of my life. After six months, I gave up on looking for other women. And then the first campaign of Israel came. Back then, I need some sort of transportation. So I asked God, I say, I need to buy a, a motorcycle. I got the money to buy a motorcycle right after the campaign, the, the campaign of Israel. So from there, I was like, okay, this is real. Going to church on Wednesdays and Sundays and, and, and listening to pastor preaching about the Holy Spirit and other people in church telling me that it was important, I started paying attention. I still had like bad feelings against people. Sometimes people that hurt me in the past. And sometimes I even wanted to succeed just to prove to that people that, you know, I was gonna be someone. When I gave up on that and I forgave them and I started praying for them and I forgot about all those situations, that was when I was open to receive the Holy Spirit because now I was clean. That night, my life completely changed. I had the, the peace that comes from Jesus Christ. It's a different type of peace. Because now you know God. Now you are 100% sure you know God. You know what He wants. You know what to do. And you're never going to go back from there. And, from, and, and I knew I was going to be saved. At that point, I realized that the material life was nothing. There was an eternal life later. Every time I used to come to church, the pastor was like, hey, if you can help with the newspaper, and there is a there is hundred newspapers that we want to evangelize. And I used to ask God, please, I wanna have a hundred dollars to buy those hundred newspapers. And one day I was praying that, and I had the hundred dollars in my pocket. And I said, okay, I have the $100. Why am I praying when I have the $100? But now, not only the $300 I had, but I had more, $500. After a while, $700. After a while, $1,000. I go to church Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturday, and Sunday. Every day we go to church, we sacrifice to God. To be honest, I just make money very easily. I have universities. I never finished the university myself, but I do have universities in California. I have two. I have a theology university in Seattle. I have a music school in, in California. We are building an English language school here in Florida now. Law firms, I'm not a lawyer, but I have law firms. I have lawyers working for me. And I invest in real estate. I have construction's going on. We have our house, we have a ranch. Everything I have is for the altar. I gave my daughter to the altar. So my, my daughter wants to 
be a missionary, she wants to marry a pastor and to serve God. And she wants to. It's not something we force, it's just natural on her. And me and my wife, that's all we want to do because our inheritance is for God. Before, the purpose was to prove people that I could be someone. After the Holy Spirit, the purpose completely changed. And we do everything to save lives. So the only purpose of my family is to work for God.